Hello guys, this is Rich, Rich TV, and welcome back to my channel. But before we we'll start the devotional, guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel na na-join sa devotional kagabi. Shout out to Connie Store Channel, Sir JB TV, Mama Jinx Kitchen, Pamilyang Lagan Channel, Mayat Explorer, Clay Young Blogs, Francis Capin Official 2, Sherlyn Lee Obligar, Blue Tree TV, Just Travel and Tour, Emily Mansalai, R&B Blogs, Kuya Lars Blogs, Jubilin Auditor, Heart Ponsalan, Era Channel, Cebuano No Copyrights Music, Edwin De La Peña, JJ Himpeso, Kim Chu, Jubes Tolentino, Taga Bitay, Christian Dean Noki, Brixel Salto Laha, Ridwan TV, A Traveler, Army Fe Doblas, Francis Coffin Official, Emily Mansalai, Angie Rihida, Inside Versosa Family Blogs, Isar Ratso, Magkalan Lia, and Mara Ababao. guys, sana hindi tayo masyadong napiktuhan sa bagyo kasi dito pa lang parang uh, the other day pa lang ano na, uh, medyo madilim-dilim hindi napakapakita yung araw no? but still, we have to go on with uh, what is set for the day for us to do okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional let's open our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 34 to 39. Still, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. This is about uh, David and Goliath, no? but we will uh, read 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 34 to 49. It says, But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lions and the bears. The uncircumcised Palestinians will be like one of them, because he has defied, defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who delivered one from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Palestine. Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around because he was not used to it. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, so let's now pray. Let's now pray. Father, thank you, dear God, that we have somebody who is uh, like David in us. Not just like David, but it is more than David, and that is you who is going to depend on us, especially if we are in trouble. Lord, at this time of pandemic, thank you that you are protecting us more than what David has done to the enemies. You are also our provider. You are also our healer. You are everything to us, our God. We open up our hearts, minds, body, soul, and spirit as we listen to your word. Bless the viewers also, our God. I know they also have their needs and you are going to provide it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our focus verse for this evening, guys, is found in 1 Samuel 17.37. It says, Go, and the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay, guys, no yung word na, God bless you, many will not appreciate it because parang it's an ordinary word, but 
that would really mean so much. Pa ako sinabihan ng ganyan, wow, I'm so happy about it. No? Kasi pinapasa mo yung blessing mo sa ibang tao. So, God bless us all. Okay, the, the title of our devotional for this evening is Trust Your Armor. As a young writer, I was often unsure of myself when I was in writing workshop. I would look around and see rooms filled with giants. If you will, people will formal with formal training of years or of experience, I had neither. But what I did have was an ear formed by the language and tune and cadences of the King James Version of the Bible. It was very much my armor. So to speak what I was used to and allowing it to inform my writing style and voice has become a joy to me and I hope to others. We don't get the impression that David, the young shepherd, was unsure of himself when it came to wearing Saul's armor to fight Goliath. Oh, diba? Sa last verse na binasa natin, uh, pinasuot siya ng, ano, ng armor, pero David was not used to it, kaya tinanggal niya. Diba? Okay. We simply couldn't move around it. David realized one man's armor can be another man's prison. Oh, yun nga. Hindi na siya makagalaw eh, kasi mabigat sa kanya yun. I cannot go of this. So he trusted what he know. God had prepared him for the moment with just what was needed. The sling and stones were what David was used to. His armor and God used them to bring joy to the rank of Israel that day. Okay. Mabigat naman kasi yung armor na ipapaano din. At that time, batang-bata pa si, ano, si uh, David. No? So, hindi niya kaya. Mabigat yung helmet, yung, yung breastplate, yun, no? then yung sword. Siguro mas mataas pa yung sword kaysa kanya. So, David is not comfortable with that. So, tinanggal niya yung armor and go with what he is used to. No? Uh, using the sling. oh yun lang. Di ba? Have you ever felt unsure of yourself? Many times it happened to me, thinking if I just had what someone else has. Yes, ganun din ako. Nagdi-desire din ako ng mga ganyan. Then my life would be different. Oh, yes, di ba? Tayong lahat, I know. Uh, I, I would be so hypocrite if I say na hindi ako nag-aambisya uh, ng mga ganito. So I know it will also do to you. Consider gifts of experiences God has given specifically to trust your God-given armor. Imagine guys, no? Yung uh, full armor, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, buckle of truth, yung cinturon, no? Buckle of truth, sword of the spirit and of words, and even yung boots of peace. Ang bigat kaya nun. But in our time, no? We really need to, ano, to wear it. Ako, I'm asking God, Lord, please help me uh, as I wear the full armor that can from you. Para, uh, hindi tayo maano ng enemy. Dapat, we know how to use it also. No? Okay. So, let's proceed to the two questions, guys. What's an example of someone else's armor that's been a matter of comparison or even jealousy for you? Mm. Ay, ito. <clears throat> when I was in Cagayan de Oro, <clears throat> uh, siyempre, I have a house. Malit lang siya talaga. It's just a pad. No? Parang 18, ano lang siya? Uh, 18 square meter lang siya. Malit lang siya talaga. Wala akong kwarto, pero everything in one setting. So, I was, ano, I was sa caution na Kasi nga, maraming natutulog doon. No? Mga workers, mga pastors, mga missionary. So, one time, nabigla ako nung sinabi ng, ano, ng, ng kasama ko nga, John, do not invite people anymore. Kasi ano, they are comparing your uh, their self to you. Kasi nga, ikaw, ganyan ka, wala kang sinta, Pero, if we're going to look at all, uh, everything in your house, it is all complete. Kasi, many gave it to me. No? So yun, parang nagkuk- uh, kinukumpara na ng mga workers yung, yung ano nila, life nila sa akin na ganun. 
no so kaya yun ay uh, i stop inviting mga ano pero pag may nakiusap talaga ay I, i do invite them no kasi maka na siya ng jealousy eh. di ba how might your armor be just what's needed for this day guys i cannot live without the armor of god that's why in my prayer part na talaga eh. lord please help me wear the full armor that came from me Starting all right from the helmet of salvation, respect of righteousness, back all of truth, shield of peace, heroic spirit and words, and even the boots of peace. Na, every time I use this armor, uh, the enemy will really tremble. Because it's not me who will work for it, but it's God. No? Protected lang tayo ni Lord. Especially that we have these unseen enemies. So we really need to uh, use the full armor of God. Okay guys, let's now pray. Sovereign God, at times it's easy to feel unsure of ourselves, especially in situations where challenges feel like giant. Help us to trust that you've given us just what we need. You've crafted our life story. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, God crafted our story. Guys, if you're new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please subscribe, hit like, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified kung ano yung nangyayari sa bahay ni Ritz TV. Inviting you every day to have this devotional at 8 o'clock. If you want to bless others, share this link so you'd also be blessed. God bless us all because I know God would surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Ritz of Ritz TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!